I came here last night as I get away from my fall break. It was still daylight out and I drove in after getting lost for 10 minutes because hello it's me and I have no signal on my phone so I had to stop and ask a couple people and these two lovely ladies pointed me in the right directions. It's a lovely property I love the outdoors and the little patio. I came in, got settled. I had ordered already some food to go because I knew I wasn't gonna go anywhere once I got in here. So got my avocado and my chicken fried rice and I ate it, put a movie on. a lovely evening and then after that I went to bed after talking to a couple of friends and this morning I was supposed to wake up at 6 my alarm did go off at 6 a.m. but I was so tired didn't get much sleep last night not because the bed was uncomfortable because it wasn't but I just couldn't sleep and then I was talking to a friend this morning I mean I'm looking for the perfect shot so <laughs> So I was in bed for a little while and then got up and made my coffee and now we're here six hours later <laughs> It's almost noon and I haven't even started my day which I'm trying to be a little gentle with myself I do not like waking up late because I feel like half of my day is already gone But I was tired. I needed to sleep and a slow morning So I decided to just listen to my body and get rested the plan for today is to finish up my coffee and then go for a hike I want to come here shower and then maybe make something to eat because I need to eat something I brought some things from home that I can make and then go out to town and check out a couple of venture stores and then find a marketplace of some sort then come here and I want to attempt to bake I can cook I'm a good cook but I can no bake for the life of me I will burn those frosting cookies that you get at the supermarket I'll put them in the oven and I'll burn them even in following directions I just don't <laughs> Bacon is not my thing, but it's a lovely place walking in to it. You have on the right side a little lunch place with a TV in front of it and that food tone turns into a bed, which is lovely if you want to hang out because in the bed you cannot really sit up. And then to the right you have the kitchen and then straight ahead is the bathroom and upstairs you have a little bed which is really short. I'm 5'3 and I touch the ceiling so it's not a place to hang out really, it's just to go there to sleep at least for anybody that's taller than me. And then across you have another little like place that could be a bed. There's like a little rug with some pillows, small little cozy place which is okay especially it's just for me. getting ready to leave the cabin my vlogging camera decided to stop working for me something about the reader and I switched the memory cards to see if the car was the issue but the other camera that I have for pictures reading it just fine so I'm thinking is the camera itself which I just bought the camera this year so hopefully I don't have to pay a whole lot to fix it um, but I'm gonna film the rest of the vlog on my phone I have the mic on so hopefully that helps with the wall young am I hope you get an okay quality of the rest of the vlog we just gonna roll with it and still have a good day. <laughs> That's the energy that I'm putting out there.
are a Walmart because I busted my bumper on my car and I'm getting duct tape and duct tape the heck out of it because we are continuing our trip it's very superficial so I just have to tape it all together <laughs> I, just, I feel like these things would happen to me I'm the person that these things will happen to <laughs> alright we're gonna keep going Trying to make this into a burrito, it's a struggle. I put a whole lot of protein in there because I'm low on protein. I'm also mixing the hot sauce. Hot sauce is what makes it, but it is so yummy. So cute. I was hoping there was a good place around here that I could watch the sunset from but came here to the cabin there wasn't so I drove out less than a mile away and I found a coast pad and I drove up the hill and I parked and then I realized it was a private property so I should have stayed and waited until I got kicked out but I didn't so now I'm here I shower and I'm ready to wind down for the night so I'm making some popcorn and s'mores and finish the movie that I didn't finish watching last night and then tomorrow will be a packed day because I didn't do half of what I wanted to do today so that will be tomorrow I'm going to shopping and find a market do another hike and maybe a couple other things if the day allows but I'm waking up early so I'll make sure that I get a good night's sleep tonight so I can be ready for that tomorrow See you tomorrow.
it's been cooler it's in the 50 Fahrenheit for the next two hours at least I am slowly <laughs> getting ready to go venture shopping that are open until 11 a.m. it's 10 right now so I woke up and I did some computer work and then I went and freshened up, brushed my teeth, and put some sunscreen on. Now I am reading this book. It's called Home Before Dark. I got it last year, but I never got around reading it. And it's a thriller novel so far. It's good. I like it. It's my uh, type of book that I like to read, especially around this time of the year. This is the effort of the day. I don't have a full length mirror inside the cabin, so this would do. I was feeling a little extra feminine today, so I went for a dress. These came with long sleeves and I cut them off because I usually wear with a jacket, which isn't neat because it's a cold day. I'm wearing my sneakers because I plan to do a whole lot of walking in my vintage Dior with all my essentials. And ooh, I'm falling. That is the look. There's this cafe that makes really good coconut mocha flavor coffee or lattes and I'm about to walk in there and get me one before I go to the vintage stores because I need some coffee. <laughs> I've been talking for five minutes. I am getting warm. It's almost time to get rid of this jacket because it's getting pretty hot. If you ask me, this is still a good weather though to do a lot of walking. I've been slacking on that apartment. I also haven't had a whole lot of appetite, so I know I need to eat something. I don't know what to wear. So I'm gonna walk around and see if I can find a place that seems enticing enough for me to order something. sounded good back in town so I came back home and I made the same meal I made yesterday I'm gonna eat it and then I want to talk to you about my vintage shopping experience I went to two vintage stores. I think there was a third one, but again, I don't enjoy in-person shopping. So after the second one, I was done. The first one, it's very big. It's the biggest one of the two. I've been there before. One of my most worn denims are a pair of vintage Levi's and it's from there. And I love the fit of them. I also have this pair of red shorts, which I wore a while this summer. They have a huge collection of items. A little overwhelming, but it's also curated. If you're looking for a pair of denims, you know exactly where to go. If you're looking for a vintage t-shirt, which they have a lot. I think half of the stuff that they have is vintage t-shirts. And then they have some shoes. I didn't have a whole lot of shoes this time, but they have some cute boots that I almost tried on. And then I got a little uh, picky. I'm very picky when it comes to shoe and some items that I cannot clean as well to the level of my comfort and so I pass on those but I tried three pieces the first one was a denim jacket which I loved in theory but the reason why I didn't get it is because of the post sleeve I think and I have video chat one of my best friends um, and she liked it too on me but then I remember that the dress that I'm wearing right now I call this long sleeve because they were puffy I didn't like that 
And so me getting a jacket that has full face sleeves, this is, I wasn't going to wear it as much. So crazy for my denims, but I knew that I wasn't going to wear this as much. And they were beautiful for somebody else who likes that overly feminine pieces. But for me, it wasn't going to work. So I left. It was $25, which is a steal for what it is. 100% cotton. It's a vintage denim. It's in great condition. Beautiful color. I've been looking for a dark denim jacket because the ones that I have are not as dark. And I like a whole denim look, but this one is just not it for me. And then I tried this red one, which I didn't realize it was $65, $70. So it's a little pricey. It was more than twice as much or three times almost as much as the first one. And again, I love it in theory, but I love my reds, but an accent. And so I knew that one, the color was just too vibrant for us or <laughs> for my liking and two also the style of it it had a little like ruching at the bottom and again it was just overly feminine for my style again the same thing as the first one it's just i know that if i took it home i wasn't gonna wear it as much because of the style i've been decluttering pieces like this and so i try to be mindful that yeah it looks good on me it fits but not because something fits and it looks good it means that i need to take it home so i left both pieces and then this pair of pants, I was determined I was going to take them home because I love the pattern, the color. And I love funky things like this, which are a little funky, but still I'm able to style it to my style in a way that makes me feel like me. And they do not go through my tights, unfortunately. They were one size too small. They didn't have any stretch. They were 100% cotton, which at first is this velvety material. I thought it was going to be polyester or any other synthetic materials but it was 100 percent cotton and it was so disappointing i was gonna get them i forgot how much they were i think they were 30 something dollar which is not bad and it's a beautiful pair of pants but they didn't go through my thighs so that was unfortunate i didn't end up getting anything which is fine my motto is if it's not a heck yeah it's a no i've been doing a lot of cleanup and detouring my wardrobe and i want to make sure that i don't make the same mistakes buying the same pieces that i'm decluttering so right now I feel very content with my wardrobe. I have a few pieces on my wish list that I'm waiting to get on um, Black Friday sale if possible because they are a little pricey but I know they are simple pieces. I have a pair of denims and then I have a bag and a few other things that I can talk about in a later vlog or when I get them. But that was my vintage shopping experience. Now I think I'm gonna just relax for a little bit get some editing done before I go and look for a place to watch the sunset. This is my sunset outfit. Hopefully this time I have better luck and actually wash it. But I am running late. Sunset is 7. It is 5.30 but I want to make sure that I have time to uh, climb it before I get over there. But this is set nice and comfy and cozy.